very good morning and happy Mother's, Mother's Day to all of you. I'm Dr. Aditi Goblitrikar. I'm a medical doctor, a psychologist, a wellness expert. Yes, I have acted in a few films. I've also done modeling for a fair number of years. However, I think the best role which I enjoy is being a mother. After all, motherhood is one of the best experiences for a woman. It changes a woman, not just physically, but also emotionally. And hence, holistic care is so important during the entire pregnancy. On the occasion of Mother's Day, we bring to you an interesting panel to discuss various concerns related to the mother and child care in the pre, during, and post-pregnancy phases. This webinar session has been conceptualized by Neva Pupa Health Insurance as part of its Live Well series to drive awareness about good health and bust certain myths around health insurance. And now let me introduce you to the speakers for the session. Please welcome Padma Shri awardee, Dr. Malvika Sabarwal. Dr. Malvika is a Chief of Department of Gynecology and Obstetrics at Jeevan Mala and Apollo Spectra Hospitals. She is the president, Delhi Gynecologist Forum, and has also been the president of Delhi Gynac Endoscopy Society in 2018. She holds the world record for removing the largest fibroid from the uterus, that too, without harming the patient's reproductive organs. Let's welcome, ma'am. Pleasure having you here with us today. My other panelist is Dr. Chavi Das from Neva Bhupa Health Insurance. Dr. Chavi is a doctor with 13 years of experience in the insurance sector and is a part of claims team at Neva Bhupa. A very warm welcome to you, Dr. Chavi. Thank you so much, Aditi. Uh, uh, I would like yes. to add on to your credentials also because you are, uh, I mean, such a uh, important for uh, important human being for us and you are the only uh, first and only woman uh, Indian woman till date who has won a Mrs. World title I think many people know about it you have a huge fan following <laughs> and I mean you are a medical doctor and you also are a psychologist which makes us uh, I mean invite you for discussion for this uh, so that you can give your own perspective to Mother's Day discussion thank you Thank you so much. I will certainly do my best. Uh, moving on to our discussion. As per a UNICEF report, maternal mortality is considered to be a key health indicator and the direct causes of maternal deaths are largely known and preventable. Dr. Malvika, it is said that maintaining an active lifestyle, good eating habits, nutrition intake, etc. helps women in conceiving naturally and having a safe pregnancy. Could you please tell all our audience about some of the measures that women should adopt to avoid complications in pregnancies? Thank you so much, Aditi, for the absolutely wonderful introduction. And I will like to firstly second Chavi on the, the allocates that you have achieved. I think you are so proud of having from the doctor's fraternity something, somebody in a beautiful role of becoming, you know, the kind of achievements you've had. So it's all in, you know, two in one, beauty as well as absolute good brains and Thank psychology, you. et cetera. Thank you so much, Aditi, for Thank inviting, or in fact, Neva Bupa for inviting all of us together. So your question is very, very important. And being a doctor, I think it's our duty to guide all the young ladies and in fact, all the young couples, I should not say just the ladies, because when you start a family, it's two of them getting involved. It's a husband and wife becoming a father and a mother. So it's a total responsibility what they have planned to take. So it should be after they, you know, once they put their mind to it and then going ahead with starting a family. So um, you said about, uh, you know, contraception uh, or about conception and well-being in pregnancy. You know, the first and foremost is after having taken the responsibility of starting a family to be able to be fit and to be able to logically giving the child who comes into this world a good environment. So good eating habit, good lifestyle goes a very, very long way. Number one factor, which we see commonly, it was earlier only the West, but now even Indians have a lot of Indians going into obesity, which is a huge problem which, which we see, you know, whether it's conceiving or having a 
good outcome of a pregnancy in fact any obese patient we tell them to lose 5% of weight and they'll have a better chance for conception so this is one thing which will result in hormonal imbalance polycystic ovaries etc so they must keep a check on their weight and once they conceive we always at the first visit tell them there's a certain weight gain that we tell them okay 400 to 500 grams in 2 weeks and not beyond depending upon how much you know how how they are doing what is the weight in case they are underweight then of course we have to tell them more but mostly these people are coming to be obese etc or somebody like a model like you said like some people are now all zero sizes are under, under zero we tell them please put on a little weight to at least get your normal periods and get pregnant so these are two uh, you know wide uh, parts of a spectrum so it's very very important to understand that obesity is wrong it is not going to help them because the outcome of abortions premature births and problems during during delivery and also gaining weight psychologically these girls are a little low they cannot accept all the things very well so these things are extremely important that we tell another lifestyle manage you know a uh, uh, suggestion is we always take a history whether they smoke or drink because both th- both these things are very important you know smoking can result in growth retardation it results in placental insufficiency and if there is placental insufficiency there will be a little bit of growth retard- retardation and the baby is not going to be very you know it won't be very healthy and the, we want a healthy child outcome has to be very good again alcohol it is amazing to know that alcohol is a teratogenic it has teratogenic effect on the baby so most of the people today are smoking and drinking so these two things have to be told to them very clearly even a person who's planning a pregnancy also smoking a passive smoker also makes a lot of difference you know the husband is smoking and the wife is not and you know things like that so these things are very important and again you know some pa- patients do have problems like they are taking medication for certain problems like thyroid etc it should be made clear to them that whatever whether it's epileptic medicine or whatsoever we do have a little change of medicines during pregnancy so they should definitely refer to the gynecologist and the physician for the right advice which is um uh, something extremely important and i think um, it should go a long way if they follow the advices and uh, the outcome should be good and another aditi i would also want to add one thing i've seen that all the young girls who are you know who are more active will also be proactive when the baby comes they will be more organized you know a person who's exercising for themselves is going to be having a more uh, more organized way of bringing up a child which again goes a long way in the eventual result of the baby growing up into a young adult absolutely thank you so much for those tips so everybody who has joined in i invite you to send any questions that you have to dr malvika to dr chavi as well as i we are here to respond to you so please feel free to just send us questions and uh, to add to dr malvika what i would say is a healthy mother definitely gives birth to a healthy child so look after yourself it's very important that the mother eats right and remember that it is not eating for two people as is the myth that exists ke chalo you're pregnant eat for two people it's not required at all just eat nutritious food workout light workouts are fine stay healthy stay happy and you will have a healthy baby uh, so thank you so much dr malvika i'm sure many women in this audience will benefit from this discussion now dr chavi moving on to you from health insurance perspective what are the benefits offered which are particularly beneficial for the female customers so i mean for female customers aditi we do have many benefits maternity being one of them some of our plans do have the maternity benefit apart from that as uh, dr malvika also said that keeping uh, your health in a proper shape is very important so for that we have annual health checkups in our products where and you can get your vitamin d tested you can get your other tests routine female tests done and then there are also plans uh, let's say in females particularly deficiency of vitamin d is a very big problem so you should always get your annual health checkups done get your vitamin d vitamin b12 check get a usual ultrasound done get your pap smear done so these tests are covered in the policies and uh, we usually uh, encourage these tests to be done annually uh, uh, apart from that if you talk about uh, 
our policy also certain policies also have a uh, discount premium discount based on step count so let's say if a person completes certain steps he gets some discount in our policies so i mean we do encourage healthy women because see a healthy woman means a healthy family because we being women always take care of our families uh, before us so that is why i think a healthy woman is important for a healthy family and a uh, health insurance is very important for every woman so that is what we think excellent i think can i just aditi just add a little thing of I course think- that is so true that if they had these health policies at least the blood parameters they would know and vitamin d which she pointed out is so important to have a correct vitamin d level and most of us are deficient in that however much we are aware we are not taking our vitamins and it's time when you're starting a pregnancy to be aware because your health your vitamin d is also going to be transmitted to the baby so for the babies infants you know the the babies intra uterine bone de- development it's very important to take calcium and vitamin yes absolutely now we have a request from the audience that they also want us to mix a little hindi to ha hum zarur hindi mein vartalap karenge zarur so moving on to that next question dr malavika ye aapke liye hai ki pehli baar jab maa banti hai koi bhi ladki to she undergoes a lot of anxiety and stress to in your opinion how should mothers to be manage their psychological health during conception and pregnancy period you know during conception and pregnancy aapne do cheeze boli hain aditi ha ji ki pregnancy mein aur conception mein there are two different things but i would just like to highlight both because agar ek young ladki aati hai ki jo usko pregnancy shuru kar di hai aur mostly jo dekha gaya hai aajkal ek to ladki aur ladke jo aate hain the couple jo aate hain wo ek to pehle to pregnancy try nahi karte shaadi der se karna hai they may be whatever relationship but they want to get married late by the time they make up their mind and then they want to have they do not want to have a baby on time they want to delay that mm-hmm. and by the time they're ready for a baby they want instantaneous gratification means mm-hmm. aaj humne socha hai aur kal ho jana chahiye that is the way they want so usme kya rehta hai ki agar ek mahina do mahina teen mahine pregnancy nahi rukti the mental stress is going high wahan tak to itna dimag mein chad gaya ki jo hum to pregnant ho hi nahi rahe by that time they suddenly realized they already passed 32 years of age 32 35 and then when they visit the first visit to the gynecologist we say okay my dear girl you must understand ke 30 years ke baad aapki egg formation ki capacity ovary mein kam ho rahi hai aur iske liye or not only capacity kam ho rahi hai also abortions badh rahe hain problems zyada aa rahi hain so abortions badhenge so don't get so be prepared mentally but let's try for natural pregnancy this is what we advise them हस्बैंड इज द वन suddenly he is working and now is everybody has got these long jobs and they have these you know uh, deadlines which the husbands are also meeting in the offices they come back and the wife is there okay now today you have to perform and then the performance goes down so the performance anxiety comes in so therefore you see all these so psychologically you must you know counsel both of them in a very patient manner that don't get into stresses go for walk do your yoga do your meditation eat healthy eat your nuts eat your seeds eat your whatever and then have some little bonding time rather than making it into a uh, you know black and white okay today yes today no and things like yeah. that you know, have, we always encourage our girls to have a little more romance added on in a natural nice manner to the good days rather than creating a like, like a you know headbusters type of a atmosphere so that become that is a total a big no no yeah. so this is talking of conception hmm. now here we are talking of a pregnant girl who has come to you now she is whatever age she is and she is mentally very stressed because she is pregnant she may be very young or she may have conceived with great difficulty so both spectrums now they have come to you they are under stress because there is a baby or there is an embryo which is now growing in a certain rate mentally they are not there physically the growth has started so there is a little disharmony there so that has to get settled and because of that because of there being a little mismatch they go into mood swings etc so we always tell 
now it is of course it's a good thing the husbands are coming with the wives you know so that's a big change because earlier it was not like that so usse kya rehta hai ki aap husbands ko bolte ho ki please apni bibi ko thoda pamper kariye thoda sa unko tolerate kariye understand them give them a little attention and be participating in the pregnancy which is coming on so that's about even for the family we tell them that so it should be very supportive atmosphere between the doctor the patient the family the husband and all of them so the stresses can go down and tell them it's a beautiful and just paint a very rosy picture but of course with a very firm do's and don'ts what we have already said we gain and all that all that thing has to be made clear to them but at the same time the proper checkups etc but at the same time allay the anxiety but the anxiety ko stress ko dur karke enjoy the pregnancy and you just wish them all the very best to go ahead and do the goal of happy healthy you know family growing you know that way. absolutely and like i say to everybody that i come in contact with that if you are stressed out if you are anxious about anything in life don't hesitate to reach for help you know yes. help is just a call away help is just a, a meeting your way so whether it is with your gynec your family members or a counselor therapist please reach out because there are ways of dealing with anxiety irrespective of whether you're trying to conceive or you're pregnant because i have two beautiful children i'm blessed and i know that i did go through a lot of anxiety when i i had them right uh, i had preterm uh, deliveries so that oh. was another added stress but oh. i realize now that reaching out to people helped me to a great deal to deal with the stress that i was going through now related to what you've said hamare paas ek question aaya hai kisi se unhone pucha hai ki is there any way to increase the egg count um well the uh, first and foremost is to have a healthy lifestyle which was the first thing that you pointed out it's an excellent way of having if you have healthy lifestyle means uh, you are physically and mentally at ease with your weight at the proper uh, you know in the proper ratio and also you're eating healthy like uh, you know about your your carbohydrates your proteins your fats your micronutrients your seeds your all those things and doing things together and then these things all go into the ovary uh, the more relaxed you are because remember one thing ovaries respond very quickly to any sudden weight gains weight losses anything happening uh, they are very sensitive even to your because they are all being run from the uh, the uh, you know hypothalamus which go which is above the brain so anything unhappy happens in the family is going to affect you and the patient may the girl may say i am not getting my periods and just that any very very acute weight loss patient does not get periods and all so you should have a basically a stress free life and which can be uh, and then there are drugs there are certain drugs which have been uh, said to uh, increase the ovarian function and also having said that if a girl realizes that at one point of time the amh which we normally do for ovarian function is low doesn't mean it's not it's not a absolute truth it's not a gospel truth ab to ye ho gaya to ho gaya but the hamesha ke liye aisa nahi rahega you can get it repeated also after following all that and it may change and it's not necessary that that is the absolute truth you know so uh, of course um, these things what i have already said are important to lead in a life and plus one can take these drugs absolutely so kapil khatri ji thank you for that question we will move on with the discussion thank you dr malvika for these enlightening tips now i would like to discuss about postpartum care for women and child care support in the weeks after childbirth dr malvika it is said that women should take complete bed rest jaise pehle zamane mein kehte the ki 40 din ghar se bahar bhi nahi nikalna hai and there was a scientific reason for it right it takes a uterus to shrink back to its original shape uh it takes around 6 weeks if i remember my gynac correctly um because it needs you know you need that much time to heal the uterus to heal your body however unfortunately most women in our country due to various factors unke paas nahi hota utna samay they might not receive the best access to care and comfort post childbirth so this not only impacts their health in the wrong long run but may lead to com- but may lead to complications for the second pregnancy so what are some of these measures that the new mothers should definitely follow and is unavoidable you know something uh, the first and foremost is they must you know um, we must understand that when they are put to bed rest 
there is a you know it's amazing how there is a scientific basis to it and aditi you already yourself pointed it out that there are changes in the body for the uterus to come back to its normal now abhi isne 4 kilo ka bachcha paida kiya hai it is not like that ke ekdam band ho gaya so it will take time to retract and it does take 12 weeks for the uterus which was so big to go back into the normal size number 1 number 2 normally the uterus is antiverted like aage ko jhukta hai and everything falls into place so we do if they take rest rather than you know rather than it's very important but not as much as 3 months maybe a little less earlier they were saying 40 days which is something which is i would feel it's a minimum 40 days one should take care to age old dadi nani ki kahani bilkul sahi hai ki aapko rest karna hai of course and uh, another fact is ke isme jo hamara jo horb jo there are certain ligaments which you know the girdles and all the pelvic girdle becomes loosened up now this is getting ready for delivery your back you know your back your spine is all because of these hormones which are going to it's called relaxin it relaxes all your ligaments and all your girdles so now the baby ke liye jagah puri ban rahi hai khul raha hai and that's the way the baby is going to come out so everything is like that hazaron mein se agar ek का एक पेल्विक गर्डल का आगे जिसको प्यूबिक सिंपाइसिस कहते हैं उसमें यू नो थोड़ा सा हिल जाता है इट्स अ ह्यूज इश्यू उसके बाद कितने ही महीने उसको क्या क्या करना पड़ता है सो इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू अंडरस्टैंड कि थोड़ा पेन एक है टू डू योर राइट एक्सरसाइज टू डू वॉट एंड टू डू रेक्स रेस्ट ऑफ कोर्स इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट नॉट ओनली टू एक्सरसाइज एंटीनेटली मतलब जब आप प्रेगनेंट हो तो भी आपको एक्सरसाइज करना है और डिलीवरी के बाद भी आपको प्रॉपर एक्सरसाइज बताई जाती है अगर आप एकदम लेट के रहोगे जैसा कि आपने बोला कि बड़े लोग कहते हैं जी एकदम लेट जाइए वो नहीं हो सकता बिकॉज योर वीनस टेस्टिस विल यू नो द ब्लड वेसल ब्लड विल नॉट फ्लो बिकॉज जैसी मसल क्रैम करता है मसल की मूवमेंट से ही आपका ब्लड वापस आता है हार्ट को सो दैट मसल फ्रॉम द फीट मतलब पैरों से लेकर के लेग्स के ऊपर पूरे हार्ट तक पहुंचने के लिए उसको मसल की मूवमेंट तो चाहिए बट किस तरीके से उठना है अगर सिंपल योगा में भी बताया जाता है कि आप करवट लेके उठिए so that is what we tell all our girls who are delivered ke ji aap karvat lo aur phir utho and then you sit and walk straight like a cesarean ke baad first day aap uthaoge ekdam to they can have a little blackout to bole ki ji hum to bilkul wo ho gaye it's not like that the change of posture mein aap baithiye aap seedha dekhi aankh khol kar ke they utke chaliye so these are things that we have to guide them but they cannot be just lying down they have to move around they have to do baby's work they have to look after themselves do their upper arms foot movements hand movements for all these women your cervical movements your you know shoulder movements like that those things are so important to do even after cesarean so ye bed rest ka to bilkul sahi tarika nahi aapko chalna hai exercises puri karni hai in fact jo normal deliver kar rahe hain do bachche teen bachche unko to all the more reason hum unko kegels exercise batate hain jisse ki vaginal tone unki maintain rahe jo ki aap unko aage ja ke bhi 20 30 40 saal baad prolapse se bachayega so all those things have to be kept in mind that you have to tell them and once you tell them that's the only interaction you will be having with your girl who is delivering for the second time with you because she is not going to have a third baby but once you've told on your rounds that you better do this it's a lifelong now next you see her is in probably 50 years of age you know that kind of a thing unless they're coming regularly for your pap smears and all what chavi is nicely said and i think chavi you're right they should take up these uh, you know all your uh whatever you have to offer and they should have an um, annual health checkups done which is a must they tell them not to buy sarees and suits etc buy one thing but buy health insurance and make sure you are healthy absolutely yeah, that is very much on that note dr chavi there is a, a request from the audience to you to please enumerate i mean i have asked you this question earlier but we want to hear it because there are some people who joined us a little late so for their benefit from health insurance perspective what are the benefits offered which are particularly beneficial for female customers sure i'll uh, elaborate on this one so first of all let's talk about maternity so there are policies which to cover maternity in the plan so there are two types of plan one is retail plan and what is the group plan so in retail plans like me or you going in, uh, and buying a retail plan buying a health insurance so that is a retail plan and that in few plans health insurance is covered and then group obviously which are corporate wise for their employees is a group plan so in both the plans and some plans there is a maternity benefit which covers everything right from your prenatal postnatal expenses 
and then uh, i mean the delivery charges the cesarean charges the doctor's consultation so all those things are covered in the plans and i mean that is very much important because uh, let's say in a family the usual expense for a normal delivery comes around 35 to 40 thousand the cesarean goes up to a lakh and more so i mean for a minimal premium of let's say uh, 12000 or 13000 a year you get a coverage of say uh, 5 to 7.5 uh, 7.5 lakhs per annum in which the delivery charges up to 50000 are covered so i mean maternity charges it could be a c sec it could be a delivery so those are covered so maternity as such a coverage in a health insurance is very important and when a newborn baby is uh, there so the vaccination charges in uh, our policies the baby is covered from day one and uh, up to a year the all the charges for the baby like the vaccination charges there are certain defined vaccinations which are given by who those vaccinations are covered for the baby so these are the things which i mean if you take a plan with a maternity cover like there is a plan health premium there is heartbeat so in those plans these things are covered post uh, apart from that as i told you in health checkups etc i mean in annual health checkups there are tests which are important for females like vitamin d b12 pap smears ultrasound so these all are covered in a health insurance policies so i think for every female a health insurance is must specifically maternity needs obviously are met with health insurance but apart from maternity also your annual health is taken care of by us god forbid if you need any uh, admission and in that case obviously health insurance comes in i think thank you that's that's very enlightening because a lot of people are not aware like i wasn't aware for example of course now my children are grown up so unfortunately it, it will not apply to me but all the audience members who are with us and i will definitely spread the word around because it's very very crucial uh, it takes a lot of pressure off that that's what i feel you know when yes, yes. things are uh, taken care of now uh, dr malvika in most cases new mothers struggle you know in post pregnancy after the, they've got a new baby they are slowly recovering they're trying to breastfeed their child they, there is a lot of hormonal in ups and downs mood shifts diet sleep of course goes for a toss you know with a new baby that leads to further anxiety and restlessness and now with this continued covid scare it makes it further difficult for the families yes. so how can mothers manage their emotional well being during and post pregnancy so there are two parts to this uh you said uh, you are you're pertaining to covid right yes i mean there are okay then there are three parts to it one is of course even pre covid or now post covid and slowly of course it's going away in that sense um mm. new mothers do face a lot of anxiety so how does one handle that you see the new mothers have to be told very clearly that uh, you know uh, first you know, they they have anxiety because now the baby is come and for the first 40 days the baby has no sleep pattern usko rona hai usko bhook lagegi to bhi rona hai usko susu karega to bhi rona hai pet kabhi bharega nahi you cannot have a 3 hour interval so ke aapko 3 ghante mein aapko doodh pilana hai or something and here the mother is just delivered after 9 months or whatever she went through and she's ready so breastfeeding is something which every counselor whether it is the doctor the gynecologist or a lactation counselor has to explain to the mother even the who says that it should be exclusive breastfeeding for 6 months which is a must because it is not only giving uh, the baby the correct nutrition also giving all the antibodies etc is very protective to the young infant which is born because it's going to give usko right from nazla zukham like this thing is going to give give the baby protection so the anxiety of mother has to be allayed by giving her all the positive things and also telling not only the patient but also the immediate female help in case they have because they will end up having engorged breasts they need to take out everything from the breast care to the nipple care to simple things like breast milk itself is a very good emollient to the nipples जो थोड़ा थोड़ा स्क्रैच हो जाता है सो वी हैव टू टेल देम अगर पेन होगा विद द बेबी लैचेस ऑन यू मस्ट रिपोर्ट टू योर डॉक्टर एंड यू मस्ट इवन अदरवाइज अंडरस्टैंड सिंपल थिंग्स लाइक योर ओन यू नो योर ओन ब्रेस्ट मिल्क और इवन गाय का ये बोलते हैं ना घी द देसी घी व्हाट यू गेट द प्योर घी गॉट आउट ऑफ द काउस बटर इज वेरी गुड इमोलिएंट रादर देन जस्ट द फैंसी क्रीम्स व्हाट वी हैव वी डू हैव अ लॉट ऑफ दीस लिप केयर्स एंड ऑल दैट सो बट दीस थिंग्स हैव टू बी टोल्ड एंड एक्सप्लेन टू देम and uh, uh, you know tell them not to get 
very anxious about it. So all the ladies have to accept it and move on to that. Then again, the posture has to be correct. You know, you have to sit correctly. Yahan se aapko seedha. I always tell them to sit on a dining chair because uska back is a seedha. Hota hai. Not hmm. a sofa or an other chair. Sit hmm. correct. Have, so that you don't, you know, at this, like we already mentioned, that now your spine is all loose. So if you sit straight, with a good protection, protecting, uh, you know, a low back pillow, and have the baby in a lying down position. Nowadays, you get lactating feeding pillows. Bhi mil jate. So that can be used. Then there are, there are ways of telling them how to feed, how to make the baby latch on, and not to struggle and be relaxed. And don't have too many people coming in and talking to you and doing this and that. So mentally, the girl has to be taught to be relaxed because the more relaxed she is, not only during when she's pregnant, even after she delivers, she'll be able to feed the baby better. This is the time to form a bond with the baby. So all these things have to be told very nicely, patiently to a young mother so that the anxiety doesn't step in. Also, the mother has to be told about proper nutrition. She has to be fed in a proper manner like your dalia, your dalia fiber, you know, fruits. You have to give them milk. In fact, quantity is not Normally speaking, you and me might eat this, this much of calories, like 1800 to 2400, depending on our work style. For pregnancy, we add 300 calories more. In pregnancy, we have to add 500 calories more. So, it is not good because your, you know, your body is going to get depleted. Or it's may. Mothers who is depleted is going to be more anxious because there is no nourishment, nahi hai uske paas. vitamin D, calcium. Nahi hai. So she is getting depleted and you know, unknowingly she is taking it out by becoming irritable, by not able to understand or to you know, deal with the situation. So these things are very, very important to have proper nourishment, to proper supplements and also the me time. A mother who just delivered, who was actively working in an office or a bank or wherever, so now here she is tied up to the bed. So not exactly bed, you're moving around. I mean, I don't encourage too much of those japas or doing everything. And the mother's is like a queen bee, you just put on weight. So if she's active even at home, but she doesn't have the me time. That is so important. You, the family must understand, the husband must understand that he also has to get equally involved into the whole thing. I don't mean that. But something has to come about that, you know, so that they come to a understanding. And once she has a time to do a little walk, to do a little job, to pray for self, you know, healing and full of gratitude to God above and happy situation with the baby, somebody else taking, taking over just for a while. And then she takes on to the baby. That will be very important. So this is something which is extremely important, I feel, for a young mother to get a little bit of and she's just busy lactating. But the most sometimes they feel they feel like a cow all the time lactating. You know, I said, okay, don't worry. Whenever you're hungry, first make sure that you eat and you drink your milk first and then start feeding the baby. It doesn't matter if the baby cries for a little while. So a healthy mother who's coming on to you know being patient with the little baby will obviously go on to organizing the child also better in the subsequent times. Yes, absolutely. And again, like uh, I had said earlier that do not hesitate to ask for help. Build yeah. your support system. Get help from your mother, your mother-in-law, your neighbor, your father-in-law. You know, just take help. I mean, do not hesitate. Don't take on this guilt because a lot of mothers feel this guilt that, oh my God, I'm leaving my child with somebody else. I need to do everything. So, have your strong support system. Do not hesitate. And just do whatever, like Dr. Malvika said, it, it is self-care. You can just sit and have a cup of tea, you know, staring out of the window, but that will help you relax. So it's very, very crucial to look after yourself. The new baby is dependent on you. But if you are healthy, then you will be able to look after your baby in a much better manner. So that, thank you, Dr. Malvika. Dr. Chabi, would you like to add anything here? Yeah, I mean, I totally agree with both of you, Dr. Malvika and Dr. Adisti. So the superwoman syndrome has to go. <laughs> I mean, you have to understand that a woman can do only so much. I mean, taking care of the baby takes a toll on the health. I mean, and taking care of the work also takes a toll on health. So the superwoman syndrome, I mean, you need to ask for help. You need to obviously pitch, uh, ask people to pitch in. 
so that way i totally agree with both of you uh, that we should always ask for help proactively rather than waiting for it absolutely now uh, dr malvika nutrition is definitely important for everybody right i mean any age any like any gender nutrition is important so what are some of the healthy eating habits that women should follow to avoid any sort of deficiency uh you know if you are having if you have the knowledge uh, you should be mindful of whatever you are eating you should know you should just not go randomly eating just anything so you one should know as to this is the quantification of the food which should be uh, you know which is normally advised that in a plate you should have this much of your protein this much of fat which is something which is very important and during pregnancy we always say that we suggest a two hourly feed because when a growing pregnancy the stomach uski jo capacity hoti hai wo kam ho jati hai बिकॉज स्टमक इज नाउ गेटिंग पुस्ट जैसे जैसे प्रेगनेंसी बड़ी होगी स्टमक ऊपर को आएगा तो ये मोस्टली लड़कियां जो है उनको एसिडिटी होती है वगैरह वगैरह सो उसके लिए भी टेल दो दो घंटे में आपने खाना है नाउ कमिंग टू द राइट माइंडफुल ईटिंग वुड बीन योर मिल्क योर एग्स इन केस यूर नॉन वेजिटेरियन द काइंड ऑफ नॉन वेजिटेरियन फूड विच इज नाइसली सोर्स एंड नाइसली कुक्ड अ कुक मील इज वेरी वेरी गुड सैलेड ऑफ कॉर्स शुड बी यू ऑल वी ऑल रियलाइज नाउ what is the importance of uh, washing the salads etc and uh, salads from home is extremely good idea then certain seeds so one can do one thing like seeds badam anjeer even like things like jo til hote hain white sesame seeds wo aap sprinkle karo khane mein ya in your uh, you know in your salad in your food etc chia seeds to be add to the dahi smoothie etc berries can be added in the season so these things do rather than any um, you know preserved foods like bahar ke deshon mein to sab log khate hi hain preserved foods etc but i think indian cooking of ghee tori and sabzis and everything is so amazingly nice so we see less problems agar hum log canned food junk foods um, zomato food you know ordering food from outside which are preserved and when so rather than that pamper yourself at home by cooking and having the best and knowing that itna itna lena hai during pregnancy and uh, postnatally like after the uh, delivery one should have not just three meals a day maybe six meals a day with add ons a little bit of depending upon your personal weight if you're obese then obviously you'll say buna wa chana kha lo and stuff but otherwise you should have your regular every badam kaju everything two walnuts one anjeer two khajoor during winters i always recommend to the extent that you know what something aditi very nice and chavi you also uh, in the hospital we started giving a little bit of panjeeri because most of the mothers used to say mother in laws used to say humko panjeeri zarur dena hai so the you know all classes of patients would have panjeeri so we just added you know just this much amount of panjeeri to a regular lunch time so they wo digest bhi ho jata hai aur acche se wo they are satisfied ki ji panjeeri mil gayi hai so all that with sund and bone then all that stuff you know they are also good so and their galactogogs it's surprising that i also tell them about infused water jaise jeera pani ajwain pani this is amazingly good this is something which my you can imagine how how much of years back my dadi my nani were telling me about these things and it continues now and it's also not only continuing it's got revived in so many places it's got a very uh, important role so yeah. um, be uh, not only uh, you know be mindful of what you eat but also give the same to your children as the children grow absolutely and i would like to add because there's a question from raj khatri who is trying to who is planning a pregnancy and covid uh, just had just had covid uh, what nutrition they should follow so all that Ma- dr malvika just told us please follow that diet i mean covid is something that you know where where in your immune system gets affected so to build your immunity all that dr malvika said is definitely going to help uh, now i'm going to take a question from akanksha she's had a uh, six point a six and a half year old child and uh, is planning a second pregnancy but what she has undergone is that her first pregnancy ended in placenta disruption so her worry is will her second pregnancy also have complications so, so dr malvika if you can address that 
uh, well, um, the first child may, if she had a abruptio placenta, that means, उसका मतलब ये है कि जब उसका baby womb में था अंदर था, तो जो placenta होता है जहाँ से उसको खून जाता है, वो अपनी जगह से इसको कहते हैं हम लोग uprooting, मतलब उसकी uprooting हो गई, वो जड़ से वो अलग हो गया at whatsoever level, पर जब उसका साढ़े छः एक साल का जो बच्चा है, वो save कर लिया because बेबी वो सैल्वेजेबल और वो उन्होंने जो भी जिस भी तरीके से चाहे वो नॉर्मल डिलीवरी करी या सिजेरियन करा पर शी अंडरवेंट द स्ट्रेस कि आपका जी प्रसिंटा अलग हो गया था अपूर्ति हो गई थी और एमरजेंसी में यू टू डू द डिलीवरी लाइक दिस सो दैट गिव्स अ लॉट ऑफ स्ट्रेस टू द यंग लेडी सो नाउ शी वांट्स टू नो व्हिच इज अ फेयरली गुड क्वेश्चन सो द फर्स्ट एंड फॉरमोस्ट इज जो ये अब्रक्शो होता है मोस्टली वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट कि कोई ब्लड प्रेशर बढ़ा था अगर ब्लड प्रेशर अगर आप अपने आप को सही रखोगे इफ यू कम बैक इफ यू हैव गॉट डायबिटीज इफ यू एनी एलिमेंट ऑफ वॉट सो एवर काइंड शुड बी प्री नेटली ट्रीटेड मतलब जब आप प्रेगनेंसी शुरू करोगे उसके पहले ये सब चीजों को आपको दिखा देना है और इसको आपको नए सिरे से जब आप शुरू करो ट्राई एंड बी एट द ऑप्टिम वेट ऑप्टिम ब्लड प्रेशर ब्लड पैरामीटर्स विच एव ऑलरेडी बिन चेक्ड बाय द लाइफ इंश्योरेंस पीपल एम राइट छवि We've already checked yes, her. We've said that her thyroid be okay. Sab kuch okay. And now you're ready for starting a pregnancy. That's the way we should do. And generally speaking, uh, it is not uh, something which can be may be repeated. Of course, uh, unless there is a disease inside, uh, certain diseases, certain additions may cause abruptio. But it's something which is not necessarily repeated in the next pregnancy. So please do not worry. But also having said that, I would like to say that if second pregnancy you are doing and you are scared. मेरा ब्लीडिंग हो जाएगा उस समय मुझे छह बोतल खून का दिया था सो उस समय मे बी यू डिड नॉट इवन वर्क टूवर्ड्स योर एंटीनेटल टाइम्स व्हेन यू डिड नॉट टेक योर सप्लीमेंट्स प्रॉपर्ली सो इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू रियलाइज दैट कि अब जब आप प्रेगनेंसी शुरू करोगे एक तो आप नॉर्मल हो और प्रेगनेंसी में प्रॉपर इवेल्युएशन कराओगे ऑन अ रेगुलर बेसिस एंड ऑल्सो यू बी आप सप्लीमेंट्स भी अच्छे से लोगे और अपना हेल्थ के बारे में आपका हीमोग्लोबिन भी सही रखोगे सब कुछ जब सही रहेगा तो ऑल ऑल्सो वंस योर आर्मी इज रेडी इन योर इन योर बॉडी योर मेंटली प्रिपेयर्ड योर हाफ वे डाउन देयर यू नो यू ऑलरेडी वन द बैटल सो मेंटली डोंट लेट इट पुल यू डाउन एंड डेफिनेटली गो हेड एंड योर चाइल्ड इज नीडिंग अनदर सिबलिंग टू प्ले विद सो यू कैन गो हेड एंड हैव अ सेकंड बेबी सो आकांक्षा वी विश यू ऑल द वेरी बेस्ट Neva Bhupa team, Dr. Malvika and I, we wish you all the very best. Uh, Dr. Chavi, the question is for you. Mr. Sunil wanted to know if health insurance cover um, th- does health insurance cover pre-existing carcinoma and heart disease. So we do not cover pre-existing carcinoma. However, heart disease, if there is a pre-existing heart disease, we do cover. Let's say if a person has hypertension, we do cover hypertension. But any heart disease as such, which is pre-existing, we do not cover. Got it. Um, and which product again, Doctor Chavi? This is for you. Which product do you offer for women over sixty years? So we have a very good plan with us, which is called Senior First. So all our retail plans as such cover. Uh, I mean, uh, women or maybe men. Up to sixty-five years of age, but there's a very good plan for seniors which we offer, which is called uh, Neva Bupa Senior First Plan. Got it. So, any other questions uh, you guys have, please do feel free. There is a barrage of questions, of course, which I'm going to take um, uh, to our panelists. Uh, we have only limited time, unfortunately, so this would be the last question. However, the team will address all your questions in the time to come. Uh, the last question by Kapil, Dr. Malvika, is how to manage diabetes. post pregnancy you know uh, it's a very good question very important questions for those who are suffering from diabetes during pregnancy because uh, you know you're giving them all kinds of insulin etc because now is the time that the girl who was already diabetic and who was taking oral hypoglycemic the goliya kha rahi thi ya metformin kha rahi thi ab unko during pregnancy humne insulin pe dala aur ab uski pregnancy khatam ho gayi hai to ab usko kya karna hai सो so, एक तो उनको अगले 24 फोर आवर्स में ही उनकी रिक्वायरमेंट चेंज होने लग जाएगी अगर तो वो जेस्टेशनल डायबिटीज थी मतलब अगर तो वो पहले नहीं थी डायबिटिक और वो ड्यूरिंग प्रेगनेंसी डायबिटिक हुई है और फैमिली हिस्ट्री में भी यही बताया जा रहा है कि लाइक शी जस्ट गॉट प्रेगनेंट डायबिटीज ड्यूरिंग प्रेगनेंसी तो उसमें मोस्टली वो सेटल कर जाता है सेवेंटी टू आवर्स में आप देखोगे चौबीस घंटे सेवेंटी टू आवर्स में और डॉक्टर्स गो टू टेल यू दे गो टू चेक आउट एंड द रिक्वायरमेंट गोज डाउन एंड इन केस शी वॉज ऑलरेडी ऑन the anti diabetics earlier so you may have to continue insulin for a while and then you have to uh, you know get back 
ऑन टू दीरे कम करके उसको रेगुलर एंड फॉर एनी पेशेंट गॉट पॉलिसिस्टिक ओवरीज एक्सेट्रा दीज पेशेंट यू नो दे आर मोर डायबिटोजेनिक ड्यूरिंग प्रेगनेंसी एक्सेट्रा सो वी हैव टू बी अलर्ट वी ऑलवेज टेल द पेशेंट्स कि अगर आप जीडीएम भी हो तो आपको ध्यान रखना है कि आपको फॉलो अप में सब्सिक्वेंट इयर्स में या एवरी ईयर यू हैव टू मेक श्योर दैट यू गेट योर यू नो नाउ डेज वी डू ग्लूकोज चैलेंज टेस्ट जैसे हम लोग पहले जीटीटी करते थे जिसमें आपको इतने सैंपल्स देने पड़ते थे उसके बजाय आजकल हम लोग वी टेल दैन आप सेवेंटी फाइव ग्राम्स ग्लूकोज ले लो और उसके एग्जैक्ट टू आवर्स बाद आप सैंपल कराओ सो इट्स अ वेरी सिंपल टेस्ट एंड ऑल्सो वी डू क्लब इट विद एच बी एवं सी मतलब तीन महीने का एवरेज So, ये दो टेस्ट बड़े अच्छे रहते हैं आपको फॉलो अप सो इमीजिएट पोस्ट डिलीवरी रिक्वायरमेंट चेंजेस अकॉर्डिंगली वी एडजस्ट पेशेंट में बी गोइंग ऑन टू मेटफॉर्मिंग अगर सही है तो एंड द अदर थिंग इज इयरली चेकअप ऑल्सो सब्सिक्वेंटली टिल द टाइम शी प्लानिंग द नेक्स्ट बेबी एंड वेन शी प्लानिंग द नेक्स्ट बेबी एफर्ट शुड बी प्रायरली ओनली देर दैट ऑबीज वगैरह वगैरह आपका वजन ये वो शुगर एवरी थिंग शुड बी अंडर कंट्रोल एंड देन Try and uh, have plan whatever way, whichever way one wants to the family, etc., and move on. Thank you so much. And now we come to the end of this session. Heartfelt gratitude to Dr. Malvika and Dr. Chavi for the valuable learnings. And all you wonderful audience, thank you for joining us. Stay tuned to Neva Bhupa Handles for more updates on the upcoming sessions. This is Dr. Aditi Govitrikar signing off. Have a wonderful Sunday. Thank you so much Aditi you conducted it so beautifully lovely questions thank you thank you so much malvika ma'am and thank you dr aditi on behalf of neva bupa and all our audience you both were great and thank you so much for all the time and answering so many questions thank you so much thank you chavi thank, thank you ma'am thanks aditi thank you